Hello and welcome to Thursday. I'm meteorologist Jeff Matthews. Forecast going exactly as planned as if you haven't noticed. And if you don't think you know the forecast, to some degree, you do. And I'll explain why in a moment. Have a look at my temp trend. The average is up to 81. It won't go any higher. We will be below average for today at 75 for a forecast high. 78 for Friday, so we're inching up just a little bit. 82, 83, 83 for Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So pretty close to average. It may wind up being just slightly above once we get there over the weekend and hold the fort through the middle of next week. Weather headlines, we've got some eye candy weather going on this week. In July, you just don't see this very often, and it usually doesn't last more than a day, but we're going to get like three days out of this, yesterday, today, and tomorrow, of the breezy, low humidity, cooler than average conditions with sunny mornings and partly cloudy afternoons. So that's why I'm telling you, I think you kind of have an idea what the forecast will be if you remember what yesterday was like. Having said that, love the eye candy. It might not rain until, who knows? Who knows? Maybe I don't even know. There's a chance for rain on Sunday, especially now in the morning it looks like there may be a shower or two, late Saturday night, Sunday morning. But if we don't get a shower, or if you don't get a shower, because it may not be everywhere Sunday morning, it may not rain until, as far as I can see, at least like another 8 or 10 days. My third weather headline, speaking of the weekend, check my event forecast. It's under this forecast tab, but below this forecast, and you'll see event cast. And it'll update the forecast every day for you for upcoming weekend events, including the Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, as well as the Jazz Fest in Frankfurt and other events as well. Radar couldn't be more quiet. Now, up in camping country in the northern Adirondacks, they'll pick up a few more clouds than the rest of us will in the afternoons. And for that reason, it's a possibility up north they could see a sprinkle the next two afternoons. So if you're going up north to camp, cool nights in the 40s up there mid-40s up there, and the afternoon could see a sprinkle. But otherwise, you see some shower activity over eastern Canada. This is a storm that has slowed its row. And normally they, you know, they chug along, but it's stopped rowing now, and it's not going anywhere. And that's actually good news based on where its position is relative to us. Don't worry about the storm, it is. It's going to be at least seven, eight, ten days before this gets dragged into the northeast, because that storm's circulation being counterclockwise but its di distance being too far away to directly influence us with clouds and rain means that between the high to the west and the low to the north, funneling in cool and dry air. Now, the only cloud cover is going to be in the late morning and afternoons because of the instability that that cool air funneled in between is causing. Otherwise, you can see these high, thin streamers are being shunted to our south because of that high that's over the Great Lakes. So really, very little rain chance, and it's for late Saturday night and Sunday morning. Have a look at my almanac. You can see I was right on target here. 76 was the actual for Wednesday versus 75. 56 versus 53. Nothing in the rain bucket, of course, with a beautiful Wednesday that was. 14 hours, 50 minutes of daylight. We lose two more minutes of those, and I'll have a complete forecast in just a moment. Welcome to Intermission. <laughs> Here we go. Welcome back. Your forecast for Thursday. Well, this looks a lot like Wednesday, doesn't it? It should, because the forecast and the weather look exactly like Wednesday. 75 with a gusty midday wind, which will calm down towards evening, but a sunny morning, a partly cloudy afternoon, very low humidity. Most clouds go away in the evening, so mostly clear, low around 52. But again, if you're headed north, the next several nights to the Adirondacks, it'll be mid-40s up there. For Friday, a ditto day again, but tack on a couple of degrees, a high of 78. And then Saturday now looks a little bit hazier, a little more high clouds increasing, making the sun a little dimmer for Saturday. But still up to 82. A chance for a shower into Sunday morning, and then dry weather. As far as the eye can see, we'll see if that winds up panning out, but it does look dry other than Sunday morning for the foreseeable future. Have a great day.